Now here's uh, what you're supposed to be doing in this lab. So all you have to do is to set up this um, Ubuntu Linux external router. I mean we labeled it that way but uh, in the list of your team virtual machines you will see something labeled as um, Ubuntu server and then parentheses external router that's the one you will be using to set up as a router as we did in our previous lab all you have to do is to have two network interfaces the so one network interface here which is facing the internet so this network interface has to be actually belonging to this subnet 192.168.77.0 so that interface is already set up depending on uh, how your virtual machine is set up so you don't really have to change any number in that uh, interface setting but the interface facing the internal network this one has to be configured so for example uh, this one since it's an internal network and we use a subnet 192.168.254.0 I want you to set it up as 192.168.0 254 that's all good and then 1 because it's a gateway we usually use 1 as a host ID for the gateways and then again this CentOS client also belongs to the same subnet 192.168.254.0 so it has to have its own unique IP so in this case we'll pick an arbitrary number whatever number you want uh, in terms of the host ID but we'll still say 254 maybe uh, we'll just pick something just two okay now you have a functioning network however all you have to do on the router side is whenever there is actually a packet coming to the router if the destination is the router you don't really have to do anything but if this machine CentOS machine needs to get out of this uh, internal network and to the internet so for example I want to send the packet all the way to the switch and from the switch to the router and then if I want to get out of the router and then to the internet in that scenario basically the router has to forward the packet from this interface the internal interface to the external interface so your job is to set up the router so that it forwards the packet from the internal interface to the external interface and you, you also have to do a reverse of that too because the internet will be sending something to the local machine inside the internal network so once the packet arrives at this interface of the router you have to forward it to the internal interface and then the internal interface will send it to the switch and then the switch will send it to hopefully to the right client in this case CentOS client so the role of the router here is really important because it is at the center of forwarding these packets back and forth so that the internal clients can communicate with the internet and that's exactly what you see uh, with your home router at home.